Yo. Hey. How's it going? Hi. Good. You all good? Yeah. Okay. So where are we off to? Um, my place. I can go back to my place. Should be safe. Right. Okay. Where's your place? Um, so it's been uh, been the location. Uh huh. So uh, yes, like five minutes away. Okay, no worries. So how was the night? Uh, it was fun, yeah. Enjoyed it? Yeah, I went for some drinks at dinner. Oh, that's nice. Best way to spend the evening, right? Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. So, anything planned for the rest of the night? No, I'm just gonna chill at my place, yeah. you know. That's Thank cool. Much. That's cool, that's cool. Celebrating anything? Yeah, actually he got promoted, so yeah. kind of went for dinner and some drinks. Yeah, that's yeah, basically it. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. What do you do then, mate? I'm an insurance broker. So. Insurance broker? Yeah. All right, so getting busy right, that, right yeah, now, I'm right? Yeah, I've had a day off, so. Yeah. Said, why not take her out, eh? Yeah, that's it, man. That's it. So. You seem like you're pretty in love. I mean, are you dating? Yeah, yeah, so I guess so, yeah. yeah. For the past couple of months. Yeah, a couple of months. Now. Yeah, a couple of months, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's not about the time, right? Yeah. It's about the time you spend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's amazing. So, is there a wedding coming up? No, no. No, 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 no. it's too no, early yeah, for that. Yeah, but, uh, yeah no, too yeah. early. Oh, well, but if things are going well, you know, you might as well take the step. Yeah, it's just yeah, yeah. been super busy and... Any kids maybe, lined up? No, no. No, no, no. No, that's great. Maybe someday, but... Yeah, you yeah. never know, you never know. Maybe. Where'd you guys meet? <laughs> we, met at, we met in a store, actually. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. A store. Yeah, he complimented me, complimented me on my bag. And yeah. he said it looks like his sister, so, <laughs> yeah. But, uh, oh, must have been one hell of a bag, eh? Yeah, yeah pretty much. <laughs> yeah, but then we just stopped, uh, you know. Yeah, I started talking. Like it was fun. Yeah. Ah, yeah. you started having a conversation at the store. Yeah. yeah. Who asked who out? No, I did, obviously. Uh, yeah, he did. Ah, oh, you did. That's my number, and then he was like, it took his time to text, actually, yeah. but yeah. Okay. That's amazing. So, it looks I think like. We're almost yeah. Yeah. Mm. We're right here. Okay, so is it next to this this blue Toyota, huh? Yeah, yeah. Okay. How do I know that? Sorry? How do I know so conveniently is this blue Toyota? Huh? This is my wife. Your your wife? Oh. Oh my God. Huh? This is your what were you doing with this guy? This is huh? your husband. Yeah, yeah, we're married. We've been married for five years. You know what? Get out of the car. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get out of the car. Stop. You, you stay here. You don't come with me. You don't come with me. No, I can't. I can't come with you. Oh my God. Hey, listen. Okay. Get up. Listen. Go. Okay, man. Oh. Huh? That's what you do to me, huh? Oh my God. Huh? I thought... Why do you think I recognize the car, huh? Why do you think this is a rental? Five years! We have kids! Remember guys, she's not yours. It's just your turn. That's a tough pill to swallow for most men because they think if they commit to a woman, if they give their time, their energy, their money, they take her on trips, they take her shopping, they put a lot of work into that relationship, or in this case, the marriage, that she would never leave me. She will always stick by my side. My wife, my woman, my soulmate, the woman I took vows with, she would never do me dirty or cheat on me or have eyes for the man. Let me tell you something, every single woman, even your girlfriend, even your wife right now, the woman you're dating, the woman you're with, she's still attracted to other men. 
Now, it depends on the situation that she might be in. Maybe she meets a guy that says hello, like she said, the guy approached her in the store, and boom, just like that. She probably was out shopping, and he probably was out working, driving the Uber, doing what he needs to do to provide a life for himself and her and the family. And now, boom, just like that, it's that easy, guys. It really is that easy. All it has to be is a day that she's just out, maybe shopping, getting some gas, uh, going to Dunkin' Donuts, going to Starbucks, going just going to a place where she usually frequents. And then one guy just says the right things, right? Women are stimulated by what they hear. Men usually about what we see. That's why it's so easy for women to be influenced. All it takes is one dude on the right day to say the right thing to her. And she's, oh, now her antennas are up. Now she's like, yeah, I know I'm married. I got a boyfriend. I, but, you know, let's just see where this goes. You know, it probably won't go anywhere. And then she talks to the guy and the guy whispers a lot of sweet nothings in her ear. And now she's like, well, I got a lot of free time. So... Wait, let's just go off for coffee. Let's just go off to dinner. Why not? It's not going to hurt. And then they laugh a little bit. They talk. And then he says more good things to her. And now she's like, well, I guess I can give him a hug. And, and then after that, they go on another date, kiss on the cheek. After that, another date. And she's like, well, I'm kind of like, and she just seeps in more and more and more. And she gets deeper and deeper uh, into this guy. And just like that, she realized, oh man, I'm married. I got a boyfriend. I got a significant other. I know he puts in a lot of work, but I guess I can't give it up. So there you have it. This is how a lot of women start to cheat. And what's messed up about this is there's a lot of men, married men, who are working hard to provide a good life, who are doing everything that they're supposed to do. They're probably doing pretty decent in the bedroom too, but all it takes is that one time. Guys understand that women get bored very, very easily. Even if they're in a perfect relationship, they have the perfect situation. You could be over six feet tall. You could be the perfect height. You can make the right amount of money. You can have the charisma, the confidence. You can, you can be funny. All these different things. You can check off every box. But one day, a woman's just want to go to, you know, look around and, you know, let's just see what's out there. Let me just download a dating app just to see if I still got it. Let me just see this. Let me just go out, you know, a, a girl's night out just to see if I get some validation and attention. And one thing leads to another, to another until her ears right are right by her basically feet. And now she's basically getting bent over on the couch, getting smashed. Now she's out to dinner with this guy. She's doing this and that. And she looks up, man. And here's the thing. Women ha hide it very, very easily. It's easy for women to be, you know, sneaky and cheat and, and talk to different dudes because most men don't realize that, man, my woman wouldn't do that. I'm out working. I think she's being loyal. She's probably at the gym. She probably is at her mother's house. She's probably just at a at a wine event or she's with her girlfriends just reading a book. She's at a book. Trust me, it's easy for women because number one, you don't expect it as a man. You're like, a woman, she's pure. She wouldn't do that. She's I'm doing all this different stuff. She's, she has to be loyal to me. I mean, there's no reason why she wouldn't, right? That's what every guy thinks. But you can't control a woman, no matter what you do for her. And this is the uncomfortable part most men have to accept. No matter how hard you try, no matter how many mountains you climb, no matter what you do, she can still cheat on you. She can do whatever she wants to. You don't own her. You don't own her body. You don't, you can't make her uh, make a certain decision. You can't uh, stop her from talking to a certain dude, texting a certain dude, flirting with a certain dude. You can't stop it. So this is what you have to accept. And a lot of men, it's really hard because you're like, man, I guess I'm not good enough. What, what, what am I lacking in? A lot of times, guys, you're not lacking in anything. It's just women get bored. Okay. Like us men, we go out in the world and we produce, we, we do different things. But women, they usually sit idle for the most part and they wait on the next adventure or the next guy that might come in the picture and talk to her and kind of flirt with her. And there she goes, right? Right up the mountain, right right down the alley, right down that, that avenue. Now she's in another guy's bed. Or sometimes the guy's at your house, the house that you're paying for, that you're working hard to keep up. Another dude who's not doing any of that is bending her over, breaking her off. 